Yeah. Um, you come back home, mm. you weren't sure if you made the right decision, but it felt in your heart it was the right thing, mm. but you never really know, <coughs> is it the right decision tonight? I have to say, yeah, it's the right decision. <laughs> and, uh, what I'm does just, this mean to do this in your hometown? Right now, I can't even describe what I'm feeling. I'm overwhelmed. Um, I knew we could, we could do it. I had the confidence in our team, and I knew that we had the talent to do it and the ability to, and uh, we finished the job. John, uh, I think you missed a couple of free throws in the final minute. Yeah. What was going through your mind when that happened? Uh, when I missed that one-on-one, -on -one, I was kind of scared on my but. I knew my, my team could uh, pick up on defense, and we played deep, we played really well on defense the, this pretty much whole game. And I, I knew we'd get a stop, and we did. And Dilo knocked two free throws down, very clutch. Why were you guys so confident facing one of the best teams in the country? And you were confident from the opening tip. Uh, we just tried to get a, a good start at the beginning, and we, which we were up 13-3, I think, at the, after the first media. Uh, we just kept our composure and just kept working hard every single, every single play. Uh, like, like John said, we got out early and uh, got on a good start, and um, we just tried to keep that going through the whole game, and uh, you know we, we did, and we kept our poise, and we finished it, finished the job. Bryson, why do you think you guys were able to get into the pain as well as <coughs> the drives against against IU? Uh, well, we're all just good drivers. We're all good playmakers, and I knew that we could do it. Um, like I said, we we have uh, mad confidence uh, in ourselves and in our teammates, and. Um, we, we were able to do that and uh, create for others and create for ourselves. Your last two baskets of the game, uh, John, are not yours, but the teams uh, were the three-pointers in the corner. Uh, in the two-three zone, you guys had had a little bit of trouble getting in mm -hmm. inside, but you went right to the middle. Was that an adjustment you made, or was that a coaching decision? How did you guys do that? Um, that's how our play is. Uh, Koff wanted me to go in the middle, and just he wanted me to turn around and see what was open, and, and I just got the ball. I just kept trying to swing the ball and get open, hit the open man. Bryson, this team has never beaten a ranked team. This team has never beaten a Big Ten team. Forgive me if this question's already been asked, but historically, how much meaning does this win, and how much does it mean to you in your hometown to bring this sort of history to Fort Wayne? Uh, it means so much. It means so much to me personally because after the year I sat out and. Um, you know, and then my team teammates accepted me for who I am, and just being here in Fort Wayne and having a, this game here in Fort Wayne just means a lot, and it, and it opens up a lot of opportunity, and um, you know it brings a lot of attention our way. But we just got to stay focused. Bryson, uh, you've had some ups and downs already in the last month. I mean, some games weren't as good as other games, but why were you so effective tonight uh, playing against Indiana? Well, I'm always confident. I'm a, I'm a confident basketball player, and um, I just know what I'm capable of doing. And uh, I just I I'm, I'm used to playing those type of teams anyway. And, and I think after be uh, you know the first couple of games of, of the season, I was just trying to get used to playing with the team and um, just getting adjusted. And um, my teammates are just bringing me along. They do a good job of doing that for me. And, you know, I can count on them just as much as they can count on me. Bryson, when, when you guys watched film of IU, what were the things that you thought you guys uh, would be able to take advantage of? Uh, we knew that we were going to be able to get into the paint and uh, make plays, and uh, we knew that we were ever going to be able to knock down shots. And um, it was big time. We just played big time tonight, and uh, we played with confidence, and that's what happened. We came out. How big was getting off to the 13 to three start to give you guys some confidence? Oh, it was huge. It was huge. Uh, it, sh uh, it gave us that much more confidence um, throughout the whole game. And uh, uh, we just did what we had to do. <coughs> Bryson, you, uh, go ahead. You have a history with James Blackman Jr. Mm -hmm. How were you able to hold down such a prolific, prolific shooter to 13 points tonight? Uh, yeah, James is a great player. Uh, don't get it wrong. He, I think he kind of had an off night. Um, he's a great player. That's my, that's one of my good friends. But you know, I, I know what I'm capable of doing too, and I know I'm a good defensive player. I'm a good offensive player. Um, so I just knew what I, you know, I knew, I knew his strengths, and um, I just try to take those away from him. Bryson, uh, you were one of the kids that grew up in Fort Wayne. That it wasn't cool to go to Fort. IPFW slash Fort Wayne. It was cool to go away. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to go away. Mm -hmm. But you came back and you told me you were surprised at how good the players were here. Yeah. Um, this guy right here, Mo Evans, uh, a bunch of different guys. 
is this significant for the program that it will send a message to the young kids that are in middle schools and, and the high schools of Northeast Indiana that you guys have legitimate players? I hope so. I hope so. Um, I hope this uh, opens up everybody's eyes that IPFW is just, it, it's not just IPFW here in town. It's, it's a good basketball program and we have a lot of good players here. And, um, we're just going to continue to build, me, Mo, and John, um, and, uh, build it and gel together and um, just show Fort Wayne that um, this, is, this is a good basketball program. You three that you just mentioned get all the publicity. The perimeter guys get all the publicity. But Brett Calhoun and, and Xavier tonight both played really, really effectively. Uh, talk, uh, John, talk a little <laughs> bit about the, the post players tonight. Uh, our first play was for Brent Calhoun today. Um, we uh, we uh, we ran a different kind of play, and we got to him right away, and he started off with two points right away, and he had a great confidence. He had, he had four blocks. He helped us a whole lot, and Xavier Taylor has a bunch of energy every single day and in practice and everything, and it's just great having those two guys on our team. Anything else for these guys? 